Hey, do you get uh, inspired by seeing colors in the nature, maybe flowers or, you know, during springtime or summertime, fall time, leaves changing the colors or uh, just the way sky looks? I always get fascinated by just the colors of the sky every minute, especially during the storm. I mean, there are so many ways that nature exhibits itself through uh, very vibrant colors. And... Uh, because I strongly feel that these natural colors that we see set our mood, they set our emotions, okay? And I'm going to talk about uh, these natural colors today because I want to tell you guys as to how these different colors uh, from the, obviously from the food, from the nature, will lead us to build our immunity, right? Um, so I'm no artist here, but I, as you know, I like food and I like to cook and I like to grow, uh, be part of the gardens and so on and so forth. So um, I, uh, I do rely or I do shop and cook and eat based on the different colors of fruits and vegetables, or I try to get as many different colors of fruits and vegetables as I can, um, just, to, uh, just to make sure that I have this, the, this uh, color, color, colorful plate, but most importantly, the nutrients behind each color. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today uh, as to how, to how to eat more colors or why to eat more colors, okay? How and you know how to cook, so on and so forth. We can always uh, do it during the cooking demos. But today I want to talk to you about why to eat um, more colors. And uh, what really inspired me to do this little episode because this little bounty of uh, peppers that has been sitting on my, my countertop I mean, look at the colors that you guys, that I'm finding it here. Brown color pepper, okay? Red, obviously red, and yellow, and, and green. Uh, let's see, oh God, these, these, these have been my, my most favorite. These are the purple peppers, okay? Uh, they have gotten a little darker last few days, but when I got them, they were, they were vibrant. Uh, purple color and purple is my most favorite color. So I really got inspired uh, by this uh, this bowl and I decided, hey, you know what? I should talk to everybody about eating um, different colors. I even have a white eggplant, okay? Uh, as simple as this white is, there's something about it. It's it's so vibrant, it's so shiny. Um, it makes, it just, just this bowl has been making me very happy. Um, I have that, what else? I have a bunch of tomatoes. So, um, so let's get right into it. Why should we eat more colors or more colorful vegetables? So let's start, like I said, this is going to be our core handout and I'm going to talk about each color. So when it comes to colors, we have red, uh, orange and red and white and green and purple. Okay, these are the food groups I mean, these are the colors that I have predominantly chosen. So let's start with, uh, let's say, white, okay? Why should we eat white vegetables? Like I just showed you, this white eggplant, right? It looks pretty, uh, you know, oh, what, what's the big deal about white eggplant? But there are a lot of nutrients. And then there are so many other powerful white uh, white fruits and vegetables like you know onions and mushrooms and garlic and cauliflower and these are very uh, these vegetables are good for healthy heart they help maintain cholesterol levels uh, they also reduce our risk for some cancers uh, they are high in sulforaphane which is a which is a compound which plays a very important role in cancer prevention and in detox and believe it or not uh, these vegetables also have some vitamin C. I mean, we know potatoes are a good source of potassium. So, uh, you know, there's no one magic color, if you will. That's the whole point of this presentation that we combine all different colors. So that's a little bit about this white color vegetable. Okay, now off to a next one. Let's start with green. Okay, 
green. I mean, when it comes to green vegetable, there's so much to talk about it, right? Um, uh, pretty much every vegetable helps with blood pressure and diabetes and lowers uh, risk of cancer. But green vegetables are good for uh, our eyes. But a lot of people don't understand that the, these vegetables are a good source of calcium, magnesium, potassium, and, uh, and vitamin K, which plays extremely important role uh, to build strong bones and teeth, okay? So keep that in mind. We feel that we have to eat dairy for strong bones and teeth, but no, greens and beans are our go-to food group when it comes to bone health and uh, as well as gut health because of vitamin K, okay? Not to mention green vegetables are very high in folate, okay? Good for the brain. So especially when you eat in the raw format or minimally uh, cooked format, okay? So that's a little uh, blurb about green. And uh, you know, there's just so many green vegetables like collard greens, green beans, cabbage, green peppers, my God, I can go on and on and on, but mustard greens, okra, all that good stuff. So we did white, we did green. Let's do yellow and orange. So yellow and orange, so I have this yellow and orange color here. Um, okay, so for again, for healthy heart, it boosts immune system. This is all about immunity. This is all about building our immunity. So it builds our immunity, uh, improves blood circulation, helps with detox. What does it have? It has, uh, uh, what color am I seeing? Oh, okay, yellow and, oh, sorry, yeah. Yellow and orange, I'm sorry, I thought I was reading red. But anyway, it helps with vision health, which means eyes. Uh, it is rich in beta carotene, vitamin A, which also helps with uh, gut health. My patients who come to me for their digestive health or for any, uh, for that matter, for overall uh, uh, help they need with their immunity, I beg them to eat butternut squash and carrot-based soups because that vitamin A, that beta carotene from this yellow and orange vegetables is going to really help heal the lining of their gut, okay? Or the digestive system. Again, very rich source of vitamin A. Uh, vision health, good for eye, good for immune system. And there's just so many uh, yellow and orange fruits and vegetables out there, squashes and carrots and uh, lemons, nectarines, oranges, papaya, peaches, pineapple, so on and so forth. Okay, so we are down with yellow and orange. Who is next? Uh, let's do purple. Okay, so purple color vegetables. Like I said, this is, I mean, eggplants, so easy to get. Red cabbage, so easy to get. These purple peppers, so easy to get, right? Um, so that's with purple. Purple vegetable, uh, I mean, purple color is extremely beneficial. I cannot emphasize the importance of purple vegetables, you know. I feel so bad sometimes at, at Walmart that you have purple cabbage, which sometimes is 29 cents a pound, okay? So cheap, it lasts forever, and it's kind of sitting in the corner. Nobody's paying any attention to it, you know. That purple cabbage, red cabbage, should be the star of the show uh, of the store. I feel so. Please go out and give justice to purple vegetables, specifically purple or red cabbage. Anyway, why do we need it? It boosts urinary uh, tract health. Okay, healthy aging and uh, memory. Okay, so what more you need, really? Right? These are very important health functions that purple vegetables offer to us. Um, so yeah, just, you know, right now, figs are in season. So figs, plums, uh, berries, eggplants, uh, there will be a small season of grapes coming up soon. So look for the purple and blue color uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, beets. I mean, there's just so many to talk about, okay? So go purple, all right. 
Then we have red and pink. Okay. Red and pink, very easy to find. They have lycopene as a nutrient and tocainin as a nutrient, ellagic acid, vitamin C, quercetin, all these, all these nutrients are good for healthy heart, improve blood circulation, detox, again, lowering risk of cancer and boost immunity. Okay, you pick any color, pick any card you pick and it has immunity as one of the function. Okay, so if you just start eating and leading your way into the kitchen, just with this simple uh, principle of, uh, of eating like this bowl. You know, make sure you have different colors. The cat is here. Uh, uh, different colors of fruits and vegetables. You know, you can have a combination. For example, you can have a um, uh, spinach salad, maybe with purple peppers on it, okay? Uh, or you can have plums on, in your salad. So be creative. Uh, when I get into the kitchen or when I'm plating my plate or shopping for my vegetables, I, like I said, I'm no artist, but I think like an artist. I look at it as a blank paper or as a blank canvas. And then I start adding colors and textures and you know um, flavors. I mean, we haven't even talked about colors and flavors in spices and that episode is coming up. So I really start uh, as, with this blank slate, wide background and start adding these different colors and textures and flavors. And in the end, um, you end up with a food which looks colorful, uh, it's, it's healthy, it is very appealing to, uh, to your eyes. Like I said, colors, do natural colors do set our mood they do um, set our emotions and more colorful uh, things we eat the better it's going to be okay so that's all for today again the take home message is eat more colors okay that's it go shop for some colors okay that's it thank you for watching i really really appreciate the comments and the questions that you guys send me um that's what keeps me going so uh, uh please 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 comment on it review it uh, send us your questions i do appreciate it this video is uh, is available as a as an audio as well as on youtube as as a video so um that's it I will uh, talk to you next week and until then, stay well and eat your colors.